Hello, friends, fellow adventurers. Okay, we had just saved up here, and uh, let's see. How do we... Uh, you know, we don't actually have anything to uh, to eat here. Oh, wait, no, that's not a stove. <laughs> is there a stove there? No. Whatever, we'll go this way. This is the way to go. I like our, our fighting here was up. Uh, who are we looking for? Uh, they're still over here. Hey, buddy. Wahaha, the forest of drollery. This program is a riot a minute. Solomon. Out of the way, you con head Muppet. You're blocking the view. Oh, it's you too. Here, for a glimpse of the old boob tube as well, I never realized how positively entertaining it could be. Where's Isabel's rocket? What's that? You need a socket? I'm afraid you'll have to find another. This one's already taken. What have you done? Biscuit Monster was just about to make his appearance. What are you looking at, you fool? You want to fight? Is that it? Yes, it's always fisticuffs with you, isn't it? Isabel's rocket. Where is it? Isabel, you say. Now that's a name I have not heard in a long time. Yes, I believe. I attached a remote control to it. Yes. Where I left it, however, is a bit foggy. Ah, yes, it's in that train of mine. John, let's go check it out. Wait right there. Turn that delightful program back on. Let's go. Okay, so that's uh, all done. And are we... Are we back into the train? Is that where we're at? And doesn't seem to be. I don't know. Is there anything? Doesn't seem to be anything that's going on in there. Oh, I see. We have to go. <laughs> well, this is fun. Okay, so we have to head all the way back down this way now. Now I guess we'll see if there is any, uh, if our treasure hunter goes off at all. And we got that little thing there. So we got the fake rocket there. didn't end up going up here, so let's just see what this was all about. Nothing, hey? Alright, uh, well, you know what? While I am here, let's, let's cook up something. This, uh, I don't even know what this is. There's some truly dreadful creations here. We got a two tomato dish. Okay, I'm guessing I made this already. Cold noodles. Not bad though. Five, five, and some uh, something up. Um, yeah, I guess we could make another thing here. And whatever this is. One. Get a one star meal. Alright, veggie stir fry reduces cost. Well, that's curious. So that is, what does that mean? Uh, I d oh, uh, maybe it's the cost of uh, using defensive things or using our offensive things, I should say. Okay, I'm guessing maybe we're. Oh, good. We sort of skipped ahead a bit here. Yeah, now we don't have to worry about that stupid fog. Ho ho ho, I spy with my little eye the spiggity spark of treasure. Huh, what's this switch doing here? Uh-oh. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, I... How did this thing uh, sustain a... Uh, Oh, Daniel just decimated it. Thanks, buddy. And there's the remote control we needed. Aha, the remote control. And... Okay. 
This stupid remote control doesn't work. You don't think he was lying, do you? Let me take a look, says Daniel. Ah, it's out of power. Give me a sec. There. Try it again. No. Oh. Quiz time, says Solomon. Hello and good evening, my delectable little maggots, and welcome to Solomon's wonderful game of knowledge where no one at all dies. Hmm, maggots, that's not very nice. How remarkably insightful of you, Mr. Socially Maladroit. Okay. I couldn't help but notice a significant drop of viewers lately, so for this episode I'm proud to announce that I'm offering a special prize. <laughs> what could this special prize be, I wonder? Perhaps Lord Solomon's coveted treasure. Or maybe it's a lamp capable of granting your deepest desires. Or could it even be a get out of harvest free card? Hmm, bleep. Wrong, wrong, all wrong. None of those boring old things could ever have the privilege of being called a special prize. Quite loquacious for an evil mastermind. I thought he'd be... Oh. No, the special prize none other than the one, the only rocket that once belonged to Isabel. You heard that right, my darling maggots. I'm referring to that Isabel. Rocket, did you hear that? He said rocket. I can already feel your little fingers wringing themselves with desire. Then let us begin the 560th episode of Solomon's Wonderful Game of Knowledge. And, oh, it's too long to say the rest. First question. The largest port in the east referred to as the Shining Pearl of the Coast. Where is it? Is it A, Whitewell Bay, or B, Esther City Harbor? Whitewell Bay, one of those names of old, yes? What do you think, Daniel? I remember Whitewell Bay from the first time we met Sam. Such speed. Should we choose A too? Wait, I can't help but feel this might be a trap. Though it may have once been a harbor, the region now has forced its sprawl of mountains. No, I believe Esther City, Har City Harbor may be the one we're looking for. Then let's choose B. Okay. I'll go with A. I don't know. Does this matter? Is there... Are you ready for the answer? It is White Whale Bay. Anyone who answered wrong is a foolish twit. We were wrong. Hush, says Daniel and William. Not even those monkeys could have eaten, gotten such an easy question wrong. Anyone who expected to win the special prize by answering such easy questions is an equally foolish twit, but I digress. Second question. The road to Astro City is shrouded in a strange fog. What is it that fog um, robs us of? Direction or time? This one's so hard. What are you going to choose, Daniel? Direction? When I was driving the iron carbine, I could barely see through the fog. Alright, and we got to choose B. Time. Oh, no. Time. Are you ready for the answer? It is time. Surely no one was imbecilic enough to actually choose direction. Right, then the warm-up is over. Shall we speed things up a bit? Third question. What is the ultimate goal for us harvesters? To destroy mankind? To create a new, more advanced mankind? That certainly took a dark turn. A. Already answered. Why does this feel so serious all of a sudden? Sh uh, shall we go with B? No. The harvest does nothing but destroy. Of course, of course. I was only joking. All right, create new mankind. I think that's what it's trying to do. I don't know. I'm gonna go with B. And the answer is, of course, to create a new, more advanced mankind. That's wrong. You're not creating a new anything. All you do is destroy. I imagine a few dollars in the audience would likely answer that question wrong, but what more could you expect? Animals like you couldn't dream of understanding the sheer complexities of us higher beings. At any rate, we're rapidly approaching the show's climax. It's time for the final question. A question that transcends time, the ultimate question of the universal. When the world descends into the darkest of darkness, who is it that shall be guiding its light? Is it A, Lord Solomon, or B, Lord Solomon? Let me hear you shout your answer to the world. Uh, I'm afraid we... I don't want to answer that. I'm afraid we have to. Let's go with A. Well, aren't you Mr. Confident? B. Ugh, fine. A. Now then, let's take a look at all of your beautiful answers. We all got it correct. 
This is truly unprecedented. One of you ignoramus has actually managed to get all the questions right. I'm tearing up. Tearing up. You bring pride and joy to my eyes. If you aren't one of those lunatics from Master City, then you must truly be an unconscionable blockhead. At any rate, I must offer you my congratulations. Here you are, your special prize. Oh. Boom. There we go. We got a rocket. This is it. It's Isabel's rocket. And a real one this time. How fortuitous. Now we should have plenty of power. Really? The speed of the iron carbine and the explosive power of the rocket. It just might work. The only problem is the fuel. Do we have enough for both? There's no way to know until we try. Daniel. Yes, sir. I leave the rest to you. Yes, sir. All right. What do, what do, you, what are we doing now? Lupo, they're here. What's this? Everyone's here. Eastward on the midnight train. Huh? What's that? The name of our next blockbuster production, darling. That's right, we've decided to immortalize your endeavors in film. Visitors from the world of Hog. <laughs> who crushed the shackles of time. And who saved the world from destruction. You guys. It's just like you said, isn't it? Disaster befell your city, and now you're journeying to Esther City to save your friends, are you not? A feat job, no problem accomplish accomplishing, darlings. Yeah, we'll definitely be able to do it. Good luck. I wait news of your glorious victory with bated breath, and will wait for your return before holding the grand premiere. Alright, uh, Daniel's gotten things hooked up, and the brakes are ready and raring to go. As adept is always my animatronic associate. It was actually easier than I expected, but what a weird rocket. The power unit itself is simple, but it has three emergency escape systems. Curious, I suppose whoever designed it must have been greatly concerned for the pilot. At any rate... It would appear we're go for the launch, as they say. And here we are back in Mushroomville. So no idea how the other train got ahead of us or what, what the deal was. Is the rocket even working? I don't feel any difference. The rocket consumes a surprising amount of fuel, so we should save it until the crucial moment. Impeccable work, Daniel. Now then, where is that garish opponent of ours? There, the fog. And there it is, coming on in. Lights on. Alright, seems our old friend is here to pay a visit yet again. Now this explains the other one. I was wondering what that was strapped to it. Daniel, prepare for battle. Roger that. Increasing speed. Output 50%, 70%, 90% full speed ahead. And then... They are matching us. Daniel, what do you have to say? Sam, it's catching up. Activating rocket propulsion system. And now things are going to go bananas. What do I feel like they're going to catch up? It's still gaining on us faster. We need to go faster. The cooling system can't keep up. The engine's going to give. It, damnation, if only I had that old coin of mine. Sam. What did she do with that? The heat, it's stabilizing. What happened? Don't mind that, just get this thing moving as fast as it can go. Alright. Some blinking lights if that bothers you. Very flashy. 
It looks like we've lost it. Then it would appear we've succeeded. At this rate, we'll be something at Esther City no time. Okay, we a uh, big blaze of white light. I'm assuming we must have made it. And we're rolling in somewhere new. So, how do you define cold? Is it a low temperature or the absence of temperature altogether? Esther City is cold, to the point that time itself has frozen. At the edge of the world, hope and perseverance go unanswered. The way back is covered in snow. And on the horizon, a candle light flickers. What is that? Could that be Isabel? Could Alva be there? Hurry, John. We need to catch up with that light. All right, away we go. Oh, there we go. We've completed Monk Hollywood, and we are now entering Chapter 7, I guess. There's, uh, as I was saying before, um, I definitely, I found I do a lot less talking in this, uh, the series and I do a lot of reading, but I would say like easily half of it is animated sequences and just press a to progress dialogue like 16 minutes uh, so far. And it's really just been like observing. It's like a movie. It really, it's astounding. It's a, yeah, it's interesting, this um, side of games that, that feel more like animated films than they do, or interactive films than they do, actually, it games uh, in some ways part of the time. You know, William, how dreadfully chilly. William, peek your curious eyes outside. If you would, my friends, it would seem no one's here. Okay, what's going on? It looks like it's snowing. It's so white, what is it? That, my lady, is snow. We've arrived then at last, Esther City. And there we go, we get a nice pan down the front. The fluffy covered train station, a giant eye, a ripple of time flows through. And what are we going to get to see here? So I'm guessing we'll have the same idea, a whole city to peruse, but I'm guessing what we do there is going to be different. Okay, there's a monk by a tree. And there's a bunch of us here. And now some of them are gone. Russ, were you a good man, a bad man? It matters not. For today you lie on the ground. Whether your name lives on or is forgotten in time, it's all the same to you now. Farewell, Professor Solomon. May you now become one with the past. Okay, I guess we're saying a funeral service for someone. John, what is this place? Didn't we just arrive at Esther City? What happened? Where are Daniel and William? Where's the iron carbine? Wait, I know, let's try calling the Sonic Punk. No response. Don't tell me the Sonic Punk is gone then. Hey, can you hear me? Mr. The Sonic Punk. Oi, with the shout in Oleron, and a personal f person's funeral, no less. You humans, you'd think you'd have at least a shred of dignity at a time like this. Not even a flower for the old man. This is what you call sacrilege, it really is. Says the robot. <laughs> then this is what it's like. This is what you humans are like, is it? Sam, you said this was a funeral? Whose funeral is it? You don't even know that, do you? Just what do you think you're doing here anyway? Uh, I guess we don't really know either. Humans. Ha! 
always with the promising and the vowing, but never one of them worth a darn. Now, you listen right here, you bag of balance of sleeping right here is none other than my great and mighty, oh, uh, friend, the almighty inventor, greatest thinker in the city. This guy was wisdom personified, you know? You ain't gonna find more distinguished scientists in all the world. The one, the only, Solomon. Not Solomon again. Again, ha! Huh. If ever there was a soul, Soren, soul Sharon, the master of mine, my master, let's just say they better be pretty darn appreciative. You mentioned Esther City earlier. Is this Esther City? This? This here is the island of time. Located at the end of the world, it is. Every last one of Esther City's greatest minds is buried here. I know you must feel quite sad right now, but we really need to get to Esther City. Would you listen to this? Not even a word of sympathy. Just straight on with the asking and the demand, and fine. You know what? I don't even care. South of here, you'll find a dock. The boat there will take you to Esther City. Thank you very much. Could I ask your name? Ha! Finally a shred of manners. The name is Floyd, eternal servant of the great Solomon. Thank you, Mr. Floyd. Alright. So, I guess uh, we're just going to do a quick little sketch around here. Make sure there's no, uh, you know, secrets hiding on us. Is that, uh, I can't go over there, can I? Okay, my, uh, my... Uh, secretometer isn't really going off here, so, you know, doesn't seem like there's anything. Alright, and then, oh, we'll go around here. Oh, yeah, again, I love how you end up going slow at the times when you're like, this is not when I want to be going slow. Okay. I just feel obligated to check around here. Feels like the kind of thing where, yeah, you know, we've got a save point. You're like, maybe I'll get something? No? No. Fine. Okay, there's a cookery there. John, my boy. Says Captain Pam. Get your horses over here, you two. We're about to set sail. Karma, but what about your Floyd? Bloke said he wanted a bit more time on the island. The poor bugger. Losing Professor Solomon really did a number on his heart. Chaps, don't be paying that old tin any heed. Time to weigh anchor. Especially you, John, my boy. Plenty of work awaits for you back on solid ground. Uh, excuse me, but... Taint time to be asking questions, my dear. Don't you remember the pirate code? Treasure unsurpassed. No questions asked. Har 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 har. Come on, lads. So, we're, we're joining the pirates. Captain Pam, make sure you close the door good and tight, you old pothead, else the wind will blow you right off. Har har har. Bog's awful heavy out there today, be careful, Captain. Yeah, I was, I, I was thinking about this game uh, while I was doing stuff today and thinking about, about the... just the weirdness of how, again, we're like 23 minutes in. You get like a couple moments where you you know you have in, you're in control and you're walking, but ultimately it's meaningless because it, it's just making you go somewhere. It's it's saying, hey, go on the rail, get to the place. There is there's no choice. You could stay where you are, but there's literally nothing to do. So it's false uh, player action. I, I kind of it's grating on me. I have got to say, uh, pa Captain Pam, come with me you two. We don't want to be keeping our clients waiting now, do we? I, yeah, I find after, there's a length of time in which in games I can cope with this, and then my attention span is just like, ah, I'm done. Uh, har har har, Sapak, me old friend, brought some workers for you, I have. This one's Sam, and this one with the grand mustache is John. That be you, we jack and ape, my boy John. A couple of rough and ready, bright-eyed, bushy tail workers if ever I've seen some. So I noticed there was a, also a stove and a save point on that other island, so I'm guessing we'll be back there at some point. You two listen to uh, Sabak now, you hear? He'll be the expert around here. But we need to find Isabel. Right then, Sabak, my boy. You go on easy on these greenhorns now. Don't want to scare him away. Har har har. Huh. Don't go thinking that just because you know the captain that I'm not going to grill you hard. The work ain't going to do itself. Now then, I've got three pieces of mail need to be delivered. First one, address to Lena at Estra Hotel. Second, he's go to uh, Agu. He's an engineer. Around this time, it'll probably be over at Mama Jazz. As for the last one, it's going to be a bit more difficult. It needs to go to a guy over at Red Rocket Repair. And don't you go misplaced any of my letters again. 
I want a letter to hand delivery. Letter to hand. Okay, we obtained a package. Oh, right, and take this. Uh, Esther City Logistics, the bottle. Starting from now, you're the official members of Lumpy Pirates. Yeah, and, and just getting, uh, you know, we, we didn't do anything to earn anything uh, regarding the, uh, oh, okay. I, was saying, I didn't know we would get to go out that way. Uh, yeah, it's weird. You know, like, we haven't done anything. It's kind of... It feels odd getting any kind of reward at this point. Okay, I guess that was it. So we'll go back down. And out this way. Okay, I've got a screen. I guess we'll talk. Aki, you fools here to play Earthborn too? Her, her, her. Well, it just so happens people call me Professor Earthborn. Name's Aki. He strikes pose. What, you don't believe me? Well, you listen right here, you young punks. I've been here since Earthborn was first created, and I've seen countless folks trying their best to figure this game out, but her, her, her. Not one of them understands Earthborn like I do. Have I beaten it? Her, her, her. Of course not. I haven't even played it. But that doesn't mean I don't understand it on a deep, personal level. Okay. <laughs> it is funny. I, like, I go through my periods in this game where I, uh, I'm, I'm excited to ask everybody questions, but after you go through this this deep uh, period of not getting any, not getting to do anything, I definitely find I'm not very motivated to um, talk to people because I just want to, you know, experience the game and not get caught up in another kind of like loop. But you kind of need to. Nikki, winter always seems to last here forever in, in Estricity, but the warmth of the people here sure makes up for it, particularly after the bed a drink or two. Okay, so the future hotel, we need to go to this mama place. We had something to deliver here. Okay, actually, you know what? We'll, we'll check out this tech shop, although I only have $49. Welcome to Johnny's Emporium, home of weapons that'll warm your heart. Okay, so we uh ammo box upgrade and uh, bomb box expansion. Okay, so uh, cog upgrade. That would be nice. Uh, I'm one dollar short. I need some salt. Because I feel like that would be maybe more useful. Well, I'm a bread that tastes to home cooking, right? Where are you looking? Give it a try. Uh, I don't have any room. Oh, well, okay. I don't know if she heard the. Okay. This is interesting. Okay, so I hit exit. There, okay. Oh, okay, I assumed that was a thing. Okay, there's something hiding around here. There we go. Is that salt? No, gear part. What do we got going on here? Oh, used to get picks balls. <laughs> tokens. Uh, I don't think we need any. I got a bunch of tokens. I got 24 tokens. So, I think we're fine with that. Oh, did I accidentally? Oh, for gosh sakes. I bought some, didn't I? <sighs> I'm filled with nothing but regret. Okay, here's one of our two. Smith, welcome to the Red Rock of Despair. You wanted something repaired? Or you need to book an appointment? We're here to make a delivery. Delivery? Then it's here. Boss, the chip's here. Tell him to come inside. Boss says, come in. We can do the operation. Oh, really? That's wonderful. Come, Daniel. Coming. All right. Hey, what are you staring at, huh? The operation's over. Let's head back to Iron Carbide. Ha ha, is that you, Sam? I thought you were a snowman for a second. What are you guys doing here, huh? Come think of it. It's pretty cold here in Esther City, huh? Uh, then the operation went well. Ha ha, well, went more than well. I don't, f I, I feel wired. Holy cow, I feel like I could lift a horse. Hey, William, chop chop. I'm going to leave you in the dust if you don't hurry up. Okay. Ugh, says Sam. Daniel's acting a bit weird, don't you think? Yes, it's uh, side effects of the operation, I suppose. William! At any rate, I'm being called. I must bid both of you adieu. 
And here comes the owner. Excuse me, but can I ask how the operation went to Sam? Went pretty smooth, however. Uh, however? Well, that ship we had express ordered. I think there might have been something wrong with the feedback circuits. It's supposed to enhance the robot's emotions, right? But if you enhance those emotions too much, well, everything becomes a bit exaggerated. Okay. So that's that. <laughs> um, Dale, you're Captain Pam's little delivery bees, aren't you? Still delivering letters at the hour. Granny's already finished del delivering her milk. Even had time to recycle the bottles. That's lovely for you, Granny. You too. Deliver mail for Captain Pam, are you? All you need to find on the other side of the bridge is a train graveyard. Nobody you're looking for there. Okay, so I can't go there is what you're saying. Hmm. Climate cools, joints freeze, can't function properly. How did you like my performance? Pretty good, huh? Oh, robot ethicist. Name's Patty. I'm currently conducting field research on robot lifestyle. My theory to study robots, you first have to become a robot. Humans, pa, you already know nothing. You see, robots is nothing but a flock of stiff joint imitations. Pathetic. You need to work on your delivery, my friend. A robot would never be able to speak the way you did just now. Let me show you how it's done. Humans, pa, you know nothing. You have screw loose. Okay, Pavlova's cakes, the taste of summer. Dog bees, ice cream puffs. Okay, tomorrow's cane will be a top rate cashier, but today's cane just wants to take a nap. You want something? Find it yourself. Okay, uh, so we've got some ingredients here. Um. Okay, we got a sand roop. Okay, we'd already seen those tomatoes. Uh, we got some stuff, fish, electric chili sauce. I don't think we've seen that. Okay, I'll just buy that and we're toast. We have more money. <laughs> we really need some cash. All right, down we go. Oh, hold up, no, I maybe want to go up here. Okay, and then, oh, can I enter? Talk. You heard the bird. Livy's supposed to be giving a presentation here tomorrow. Who's Livy? You, how could you not know the botany queen? I've been li li lying up here since yesterday. Just make sure I got a good seat. What's that? A single person isn't aligned? You think something as fuss budgetary as that's gonna quell my passion for the botany queen? Okay, there's a treasure around here somewhere as well. Oh, it's right here. You can kind of see it. There we go. Ooh, 100 salt. That is exactly what we need. All right, down we go. Here, for a drink or two, I'm afraid I won't be able to join you. This guy here is allergic to alcohol, you see. If you want to drink, you drink. All I want to do is go home and sleep. Oh, don't be so cold. I'm not going anywhere. Anyway, Care to hear about my, how my research is going? I recently discovered a new star, but I'm struggling to come up with a name for it. You're an author, aren't you? Help me come up with a name. Lamont, why bother? Your boss will just veto it. You'll never know if you don't try. Okay, so I can't go anywhere else around here. In we go. Here's uh, our contact. You wouldn't be Mr. Agu, would you? Why, yes, that's me. Why? Oh, great. We have a delivery for you. Delivery? Stupendous. This month's issue has finally arrived, has it? Let me see, let me see. My article should definitely, definitely be in there. What? Why isn't it in there? Do the editors not fully comprehend the value of my theory? Alright, well, we, we did our job. What's this guy doing here? I so love people watching on the street. I look at their sight physique and wonder how might I use these two hands of mine to recreate their forms. This idea of breaking and shaping at will is such an enticing thought, yes? Hmm, certainly is interesting. As a novelist, I too have such impulses that infringe upon the world. Truly weird. Alright, I'm getting out of here. <laughs> so it's interesting, like, what, what, see, once you do get to have some, you know, the ability to go around, 
there's a lot of like interaction but it is it's kind of like it's not meaningful in many ways there was that one quest the burger guy that we missed that we couldn't end up doing that was interesting and it felt like it had an impact on the the game world in a way i guess but it's so much of it doesn't really feel like it matters uh, when you when you do it anyway yeah i have my moments with uh with games <laughs> just weird the uh the different ways they attempt to do. Uh, let's go back in here. Treasure answer pass, no questions asked. Just deliver that pass. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we got one more to go. Okay. Yeah, I could have maybe been just looking at my map. That would have been useful. I think it's that house we didn't do already, isn't it? Oh no, it's the future hotel. It is in there, okay. Well, hello there. Our home is your home here at the Astro Hotel, though I'm afraid we're all out of rooms at the moment. Excuse me, ma'am, but you wouldn't happen to be Lena, would you? You caught me. I'm Lena. What can I do you for? We have a delivery for you. Delivery? Oh, it must be that new album I ordered. Oh, it's a New Year's card for Mum. Oh well, thanks for delivering it anyway. Okay. Let's go to the washroom here. Close the lid. Because that's all we ever seem to do. Is that the running joke? Hit the uh, hit the WC and uh, close the lid. Okay. Yeah, you gotta search around the rooms. Ms. Brownie. Oh, oh, look who it is. What beautiful white hair, just like the snow outside. Delivering mail for the captain. Here to deliver our things on such a cold wintry day. You two are dil two diligent little workers. Okay, I don't know. Do we want to talk? <laughs> Nikita, afternoon. Delivering today's mail, are you? We're looking for Isabel. Isabel, hmm. I know a substantial amount of people around here when you're a dancer comes with the territory, but I must admit I'd never heard of this Isabel person. Really? Don't lose heart. If your friend is still here in Esther City, I'm sure you'll find her. Okay, and then that's that's it. Okay. Oh, there's another level. We'll go to the bathroom up here. Check that. No, we'll, we will close it after all. 301. What do we have going on here? My name's Lassie, and this is my brother Rand. Our village was destroyed by the Miasma. That's about a month m month ago now. Everyone keeps telling us Esther City is the place, the safest place to be, but I just can't seem to relax here. I'll protect you, sis. Beam of justice. You two are here to see the professor next door, aren't you? He's got a mean temper, but deep down he's a good man. I saw the ghost. It was going into his room. Don't say things like that. I'm sorry. He won't stop going out about ghosts and ghosts this and fairies that. I'm not making it up. I saw it. I did. A ghost with a sword on its back, just like, just like in the stories. A knight. It was definitely a knight. Talking about Isabel. The door's locked, and there's no way to open it. Really? No way to press to climb out the window and. Knock. Oh, okay. Well, that's that. Okay. And then that's that, and then we go back down. I'm guessing we'll be back here at some point. Alright, now we can go and tell them we did the thing. Dock number five. That's what we're at. Already finished, are you? Quite the speedy little devils is he. A natural talent for delivery. Now then, I've got one last thing for you to deliver. This one needs to go to Island Ivan at the Astro Hotel. Oh, okay, that's gonna be the room. Uh oh, space and time went weird again. Um. Hmm. It's all gone. Will White. We're standing up at the hill again. Now it's, we saw some people, but it's going to change again. Now there's less people. I 
Now there's just the three of us again. Oh boy. Were you a good man, a bad man? It matters not, for today you lie on the ground. Whether your name lives on is forgotten, it's all the same. Professor Solomon, farewell. You may now become one with the past. So we're repeating this. <laughs> Wonderful. How do we get back here? Yeah, I guess we gotta talk to him again. Not even a flower for the old man? How depressing. Is that what those emotion? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Well, we're not gonna do that. Okay. All right, we're all the way back here. Okay, so the captain's calling us. Okay, we're just gonna, it's a repetition of the early stuff. Okay, and... Uh, excuse me, but taint time to be asking questions, my dear. You, don't you remember pirate coach? Okay. All right, come on, lads. Time to hit the waves. Hmm. All right. Fog's awful heavy out there. Be careful, Captain. And away we go. Pam, come with me, you two. We don't want to be keeping our client waiting now, do we? So now we're diverging. Oh, no. We're, we're not. Brought some workers. Okay. Um, okay, we're getting the same kind of original. We need to go find Isabel. Okay, let's see. What are we going to get? It'll be interesting to see if that the crate outside is going to... Okay, lean at the Astro Hotel, Agu Engineer, and the last one's going to be more, more difficult. It needs to go to Guy at Rocket Repair. Okay, hand, letter to hand delivery. Oh boy. Now the question is going to be, is this thing... Did we find it already? We did. Hmm. So I don't know how we do this now. Um, this is Future Hotel. Okay. Delivery for Lena. Okay, so like, yeah, it's interesting because uh, we've already kind of done the thing. So then you're left like, <laughs> what are we? What are we really attempting to do here? Now uh, there's the rocket repair. Okay, no, we can't go up there. Oh, I could have got that upgrade. That would have been useful. Okay. Yeah. It's, yeah, this is weird. Because <laughs> I, I feel like... Um, I, I, for something makes me feel like, like we're supposed to be doing this again. Or, or did we somehow mess up? And if we, we had to do this twice, it's kind of, uh, it's a bit much. <laughs> like, I don't want to read all of this the, twice. It was enough the first time. Okay. Uh, okay. It's a little bit different, I think. Hmm. Well, I'm being called. I must bid both of you adieu. See, it's a little bit out of sync, it seems like. And what's this guy gonna say? You know, it's weird. It's just like you said before, kid. There was something wrong with the feedback circuit on that ship. Then it really is just like yesterday. Yesterday? We brought you a chip yesterday, too, don't you remember? Huh. 
Uh, anyway, is there anything we can do for Daniel to turn back to normal? There is, but we need a special chip and a motion chip. Motion chip? You wouldn't happen to know where we could get one, do you? If I remember correctly, the very last one is installed in a robot named Floyd, but he left to attend Solomon's funeral. Ah, it must be that robot up top on the island. Don't tell me you're headed to the island of time at a time like this. We certainly are. We need to find that emotion chip. It's the only way Daniel's operation will be successful. The problem is the ship it only goes there once a day, so you're going to have to wait until tomorrow. Okay. That's fine. Um, and we'll continue on here. And... Right, I don't really want anything here. Hey buddy. Now we're going to Mother J Mama Jazz. We give Buddy his, his publication, Mr. Argo. Your article isn't there. What? Those editors, I should have known. Okay, so... Curious, yeah, yeah, interesting that we're redoing that. Okay. Now it does make me kind of wonder if today we could get up uh, a, to a higher level in the hotel. Um, I'll go try our, we have a bit of cash now, so we can get uh, some upgrades. Okay, so we can do a cog upgrade or a gun upgrade. Um, let's do a cog upgrade. Okay. And then let's do a... Oh, we don't... Oh, I don't have enough parts to do an ammo box expansion. I see. Huh. Now, right, I see, and I can't, uh, we don't have our buddy to call on anymore. Well, let's go up to the top again, just to confirm that there is, there's nothing we can do. The door's locked, there's no way to open it. All right. There we go. And we'll just get back on over, and uh, I guess we'll have to reset again. Confirm that actually this is all... Yep, okay. That's all closed off. Alright. Okay, and then... Uh, Ivan at the Astro Hotel, and things are going to go wobbly again. So we can't quite get to Ivan. No idea why, but we get the memory chip. Now, I'm hoping we kind of <laughs> expedite this section. Okay. <laughs> kind of going through it again here. This is a daring uh, bit of narrative. You, you, there really has to be a big payout for it to be worth repeating. Uh, or the mystery has to be interesting enough for, to, for you to kind of sit through. Okay, blah, blah, blah. All right. I think the uh, the fact that there's no skip dialogue function does make it a little like, that. you know, you don't really want to listen to it again. Wait, that bell. Did you hear that bell just now, John? It's like before back at the station. What in the world could be going on? Look, it's Floyd over there. You should have the emotion chip. All right, now we go and negotiate. Not even a flower for the old man. How depressing. Is that what these emotions are supposed to feel like? Excuse me, Mr. Floyd. Floyd, what a nice name. But the man who gave me that name will never say it again. I'm sorry. What is it you folks need? That emotion chip. Not that guy again. I thought it was a good guy I did when his assistant asked me to help deliver the flowers, but I was wrong. Just take it, will you? This thing ain't give me nothing but trouble. I'd rather just feel nothing from now on. With Solomon gone, I gotta find a new job. You guys know anything, do ya? 
your your face. My face. How strange. Here I shouldn't be able to feel anything anymore, but somehow the tears won't stop. There must be something wrong with me. Okay, we got a broken robot and an emotion chip. Alright. Then this gaggle of uh, fiends again. John, my boy, come on, blah, blah, blah. Get over here. What about our dear Floyd? Time on, more time on the island. Okay. Time to weigh anchor. All right, and, and the way we go. All right. Hmm. Yeah, I would say uh, it gets, definitely gets a bit long in the tooth with the repetition of the passage. It's, I mean, I, I guess you have to get through it to get to this, but it, yeah, the uh, the payout for what we're going to create with Daniel must be amazing. Okay, so we'll just once again... Okay, so workers we are. We gotta listen to him and get our deliveries. Okay. Alright, three piece of mail, Lena Thestra Hotel, Agu Engineer, and uh, at Mama Jazz. At Mama Jazz, and this one needs to go to Guy over at the Red Rocket. My gosh. <laughs> oh. Uh, about this one for Guy. Yeah, yeah, I know. That guy's uh, held a deal with. But it's our deliver duty to deliver every single piece of mail. So what are you gonna do? No, it's just the chip he had ordered. There's something wrong with it. We have the actual chip he needs. Huh. So someone actually gives a darn about that old bear. If that's the case, and give him the right one, I suppose. I just don't want to hear any complaints. You got it? Okay. So now we head back over here. And over to the hotel. Give her her mail. Okay. Delivery for Lena. Okay. We said don't get your hopes up too much. And uh, she gets a card from her mother. Alright. Um, back down over here. Okay. We got the emotion chip. Wait, what? Emotion chip? Seriously? Yeah, Floyd gave it to us. Then you went to the island at a time? Dang, you guys are really going all out. Those two must be pretty good friends of yours. Alright, come on then. Let's get the operation started. You guys too. It seems like you got a pretty vested interest in this. Okay, so now we've diverged. Oh my goodness. Smith. Boss. I thought I told you not to let anyone in here. But they have the emotion chip. Emotion chip? Here. This, this definitely, this definitely it. I have absolutely no idea how you could have gotten this, but I suppose now is not the time for questions. Smith, let's get to it. Yes, sir. And our little trusty friend Daniel's zippity zapping. Energy core levels rising. Don't worry, we got everything under control. Williams pacing expectantly. We've got interferences on all the channels. Do you think I'm blind or what? Daniel, you okay in there? I'm... I'm fine. Somehow it almost feels familiar, I guess. William. William, are you there? I'm right here. William, when the operation is over, can we go back to Park Rock Isle? Park Rock Isle? Wait a minute. You were that, William? You certainly know how to choose the best time for things. Quiet. Almost got you, little fella. Don't you even think about going nowhere. Core energy levels continue to rise. 200, 200%, 1890%, I can't get under control. These, these energy levels, it's impossible. Uh-oh. The container's not going to take much more. 
Stop, stop the operation. Cut the circuits now. Daniel, Daniel, are you alright? What's happening? What's going on? Hurry, the system's overloading. Uh oh. Daniel. Daniel, Daniel, are you okay? I don't feel any different than the operation. A simple miscalculation is all. Sorry, folks, I just never would have expected this little guy would have so much energy inside of him. Then there's no way to fix him? Hey, don't go underestimate me that quick. We're just going to need to find us some more suitable containers all. Then you'll be an ordinary kid in no time. Really? Really. Well, this has been quite the tiring day. Why don't we head back to the iron carbine for now to rest? And thank you, both of you. If it hadn't been for you, we wouldn't have even gotten this far. Come on, Daniel, let's go. Okay. And do let us know if there are any new developments. We'll be in the train graveyard. Alright. So what are we going to do? Let's go deliver the rest of the letters, huh, John? Alright. So we've got one more to go. And way over here... Mama Jazz. Mother Jazz. Funny how it's called Mother Jazz at the top. Alright buddy, Mr. Argue, we have a delivery. Though, you won't be too happy about it, your article isn't there. What? Those editors, I should have known. Okay. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright, now, I guess at this point we go back and tell Buddy we did the thing. John, let's head back to the dock. The captain's waiting for us. Yes, yeah, we can't even go up there. <laughs> as much as I want to. Try to break the rules. Nope. Alright, now we'll go see what the captain's all about. So, how'd your Wii's friend's operation go? It went, it worked, but it also didn't. It seems nothing's actually different. Ugh, I suppose operations be like that sometimes, but so long as it didn't fail, then you can call it a success. Alright, just got a new le uh, letter to deliver. Ivan at the Astro Hotel? Ah, oh, how'd you know? Tis indeed for that kooky old bloke. You deliver this and we'll be done for the day. Just leave it to us. Okay. So I'm hoping the, yeah, the Estro Hotel is close, not far. Thank goodness. So, yeah, what do the, uh, what do they call it? The, uh, the future hotel or whatever on the front. Who is it? Excuse me, sir, we have a delivery for you. Scram. Probably that imbecilic journal with its pointless drivel again. Pretentious twits, all of them. Don't believe me, huh? Ha! I'll show them, I'll show them all, I'll find Isabel. Isabel? Did you say Isabel? Where is she, do you know? You two know that woman? We came to Esther City to find her. Outsiders, huh? Which means she must also be from outside the time field. But what was it she hoped to find coming here? Excuse me, sir, but do you know where Isabel is? First off, I don't know Isabel, okay? But I do know that she came here, to me. If she wasn't after my research, then she must have been trapped by something. Trapped by what? How the heck am I supposed to know? You listen right here. I'm the greatest scientist in Astro City. Well, one of them. But anyway, if I say I don't know something, then I don't know. But if there is some kind of clue out there, then surely Thomas would. Dang it, here it comes again. What? What's coming? Then go find Thomas. Thomas on the Island of Time. <laughs> then we're back on the Island of Time. So now I'm wondering if we're going to end up staying on the island and going on a little adventure here. I think it's, it's conceptually interesting. I like the way this is all kind of played out. I, I do feel like it's, it's gone a bit long in the tooth, um, but it's it's an I like the idea of where we're headed.
Okay. It's hard to do, you know, repetitious stuff without the, you've got to, if you've got to pick something you got to repeat four times or whatever, it's got to both be efficient, but also not trite. We got to find Thomas. He's got to know something. All right. So who's this dude anyway? Russ, right? Okay. Nothing behind the tree, eh? Okay. So down here is going to be... See, now we're able to do stuff, which is interesting. So now we're able to stay on here. Ah. All right. Well, you know what? This is a good place for us to take a break. Um, next time we come back, we will continue to explore the island. Because now we're finally heading off in a direction here. So it does seem to go like this. We have like one episode that's a huge chunk of narrative, and then another one that's all about action, which is interesting and also keeps me on my toes for editing these things. <laughs> all right. We will see you all next time. Till then, bye bye.